Okay, welcome back to the Kitchen Casino. Um, tonight I have two uh, series of bets. I have a $100 stake, and I've got $80 in fives, $20 in ones, split up into a four, six, thirteen, and twenty-seven dollar bet, which equals fifty twice. I'm going to be playing a six bet sequence, just playing the line, uh, the one through eighteen, nineteen through thirty-six, even, odd, red, black, and that's the sequence I'm just going to keep playing over and over and see what happens here. So I'm playing my first bet on low, one through eighteen. And it's a winner. Okay. My next bet's going to be on high. Whether I win or lose, I'm just going to move. 33, that's a winner. Then we're going to move over to even. That's a winner. Uh, then we're moving to odd. Four. Loser. Our next bet's on red. Like I said, I don't care what the table's doing, uh, what's running, what's not. I usually try to catch a streak. Uh, but in this case, we're just moving bets. So I just want on red. Our next bet in this sequence is black. So that's going to be our first bet again. A loser. So from black, we're going back to low. We're going to start the sequence over again. Low, high, even, odd, red, black. Let's see what happens here. Going low. Seventeen came out. That's a winner. The six-dollar win. Our four dollar bet's going to be on high. And uh, go from there, see what happens. Next bet's even. Okay, 34, that's a winner. Okay. So we're going even. Now, the reason I have two bet sequences here is I don't want to go in any more than 50. So if I have to lose all 50, all $50 here, I'm just going to start over with the four and try to win as much as I can. Now, hopefully, before I lose all this, and I will eventually, um, I'll have more than $50 in the kitty and I can, you know, begin using my other. $50 bet, so even is the next bet. And that's a two, it's a winner. Odds is bet after that. Always the same deep bet sequence low, high, even, odd, red, black. Odd just came out, so there's a winner. Now, now we're betting red. And 21 came out, that's a winner. And now we're betting black.
11 came out. That's a winner. Okay, so our next bet is going to be on low. Uh, right now, 2, 4, 10. I'm going to start putting these in increments of 10 over here. But 20, 30, no, 10, 20, 30. $36 in profit. So if I lose all of this right now, which can happen, I'll still off of that $50 make $36. Uh, but lose the 50 and that would not be good. So I'd be down you know, a little over 20 bucks here. Don't want that to happen. So lows our next bet. That's the winner. Um, highs, a bet after that. Twenty four, that's the winner. This kind of plays along with my uh, total line system, which I just went down the whole line, but this time I'm going back and forth. We're playing low, high, then even, then odd, then red, then black, and then low, high, even, odd. I'm just going to keep repeating the cycle. Uh, so we just won four bucks there, and we're moving to even. Win or lose, I'm going to move every time, and um, hopefully the table won't catch up with me, so to speak. That's a loser. That was a 31. Next bet's on odd. 21. Came out. That's a winner. So that's a six dollar win. And our next bet's on red. Put four here. Six in the kitty and six for our second bet. Now right now I'm up to 15, 25, 35, 45, 46 dollars in the kitty. So if I lose my 50 dollars, I'm down four bucks. If I go in, if I lose all the uh, the next four bets, so red is the next bet. a loser. Black, final bet in the series. And that's a loser. It's a 23. So, uh, we're back to the beginning um, with low, 8, 1 through 18, with my $13 bet. came out. So we did win the $13 bet, which actually only nets us $3 per roll since the last loss. And that's the way these bets are structured. You can structure them any way you want. Personally, I structure my bets so I'm winning at least $1 per roll uh, if I lose. So we're, we're going high next bet. Uh, and we're there. So we're back down to all of our original bets. We have 20, uh, 30, 40, $49 now in the kitty. So this $50 paid off. I haven't had to go out this far yet, but so what happens. We go in for our, for our high bet. And that's 25, so that's a winner. Okay, and we're moving to even. You know, we're going low, high, even, odd, red, black. So at this point, um, 
I'm actually at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, $53. So this $53 is already paid for itself. Um, so right now I'm playing with the bank's money. Uh, if I lose this, uh, I'll break even. Basically, I'll be three bucks ahead. And that's what I'm putting in my pocket no matter what. At this point, I can take this 50 off the table. I don't need it anymore because I have another 50 from the bank. Um, so, even as the next bet, let's see what happens here. It's a loser. All right, so our next bet is on the odd. And it's a seven, that's a winner. So this one a six dollar bet. My next bet obviously is going over to red. And I'm putting a six dollar bet here. So I think you get the gist. Uh, right now, 10, 20, 25, 35, 45, 55. So my second sequence of bets, I don't even need it on the table. I can take that and put it back in my pocket and then play with the, the bank's money. But the whole idea is splitting in two sequences. If we go all the way out and lose these four bets, um, and have maybe thirty dollars in here. All right, then we can use these sequence, this sequence of bets, to make it up. Uh, so I hope you get the gist. It's a four, a six, a thirteen, a twenty-seven. That equals one dollar per roll. If you go out, you know, no matter where you lose, where where you win, you're gonna win a dollar per bet plus all your bets back. Um, I'm going low, high, even, odd, red, black, and just I just keep repeating that. So uh, win or lose, just move. It seems to be working. I don't know. Any comments? You know, you can adjust these bets to make five dollars per bet if you want to, but you just got to watch out for your table limits. Alright, have a good night.